lucky enough to be joined by Centerfold today. Now I'm going to jump right to the new album that you guys are putting out, ready to go. It's been a process, I'm sure. How long has it been? We started off last year this time, decided, you know, going to the studio, we had something. So we did a few songs, we did three songs to enter Fox Seeds. And then uh, in June, it was kind of like, all right, well, let's go ahead and uh, record a whole album. So we went ahead and did the whole album. And I mean, it's been a good seven, eight months at least, would you say? Yeah. To get it out and there's just, I mean, there's so much that goes into it. You got to make sure your marketing's right to have a good CD release. You got to, you know, make sure the mastering's good. It's just, it's a, a crazy, crazy process, so. Now, because it's been so long and because you guys are ready to go, are you also going to be a little bit upset that this process is over? Well, we really enjoyed the whole thing as labor of love, but it's not like it's the last time we're going to get to do it. You know, we're looking forward to doing many more to come. I don't think it really ever ends, though, you know, like, ended up uh, doing this album, but we still got to sell it, so it's not over. I don't think it'll ever really end, personally. <laughs> some, some of the fun stuff is done, you know, like the recording and writing the songs, but at the same time, you know, still, still a different portion of it that we haven't explored yet, which is having the, the CD done and really getting it out to people and showing what, what we've just completed and what we've just created. Now is the time to get it out to the people and really show them what, what we've just worked on for the last, you know, let's say year or so. I'm trying to just bring it to, uh, bring it to the stage with uh, crazy amounts of energy every night, you know, we learn stuff every show. How to make people connect uh, with us through, uh, through our stage show every, every night. We just went through a whole photo shoot with Triple uh, X Productions. Yeah, it was a fantastic photo shoot. It was really good. It was our first big photo shoot. So, Anyways. where was it done? Uh, Earl's in Yale Town. Okay. Yeah. I saw some of the pictures. It looked like a really cool venue. Yeah, it's they have two levels, and we were on the upstairs level, and we were fortunate enough to have the entire place to ourselves. So. And did you do a music video there as well? We did not. We did. Um, we had the Shark Club uh, release, and we'd had a video done for that. And that was your promo video? That was yeah, the promo video. video. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. And what's that whole process like? That was pretty straightforward. We were lucky enough to have uh, the Triple X agency do the video for us. We basically just had them follow us, but like during the during the setup process of, of like sound check before the show, during the show, to finally to see what it's like to have somebody, you know, follow you and kind of watch what you do, monitor the stuff that the band goes through, which a lot of people out there who see us jump on stage and perform, it's not just that straightforward. There's the whole day of setting up, the whole day of getting everything together, getting ready for the show, yeah. and you know, yeah. continuously, you know, from there, there's so many other little things. Saying that it's not just like, okay, let's go. Viral videos. I saw your status the other day talking about that Friday song. <laughs> How do you guys feel about people that just all of a sudden become a success overnight? I can't say anything bad about it because it's a girl's dream. I don't want to bash on somebody else's dream. Right. It's not like the girl didn't have the desire to do it. It's got a lot of views, good for her, but at the end of the day, you can't hate on somebody for doing what they want. It's, it's tough, it's, it is, it's a little tough to swallow. At the end of the day, it's the nature of the beast, though. It's, that's, you know, the music industry. And they get some, some, you know... Get some flukes. Yeah, some, yeah, <laughs> some flukes would be the best oh, best true. word for that. So that, that being said, though, you know, it's it's something that you know we're not jealous of it. It's not like she's booking out sold out shows across the country. She's got a song that got popular, and I hate to use the use the term, but being the worst song ever. So right. yeah, <laughs> you know, it's got some catchy moments, but unfortunately, you know, it's getting a lot of negative light too, and that's an unfortunate situation. But at the same time, you take the good with the bad and hopefully it can change her and, you know, maybe be a little bit more constructive in the future. Focusing back on you guys, uh, you did the Seeds competition last year uh, and we're in the top 20. Is it safe to say that you guys are going to be entering this year? Yeah, yes, absolutely. 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 We were still fairly new when we entered it last year. It was like we got a lot more shows maybe our sixth now. show sixth ever. Show. This guy had laryngitis. Yeah, it was, it was a rough yeah. show. So it was a great learning experience. Six shows in, and we had, you know, a, a crowd that was as amped as ever to see us. We had a lot of energy for that show, and we felt really good about it. It was a good step up. But we look back now, and we're like, is this the same band? We've worked so hard in our live show that looking back, feeling proud about it then is good. We've changed. We've no. doubled or tripled our our energy, our performance level. Everything's gone through the roof since then. So what's next for you guys? Are you going on tour? April 21st. April 21st. We're going out for 10 days. 
up BC, uh, over into Alberta, down Alberta and back. It's like, let's take our van and go or? Pretty much. Pretty, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. We, we have specific venues to hit. We're looking forward to it. We're all it's gonna be booked up for it. It's, you know, it's our first tour. We don't expect to come out of it with any cash. It's an investment so, um, though. Investment. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You guys definitely have a following. I mean, that's how I heard of you. I was working at the pub one day and these two girls came and asked me what I did and then said I need to interview you guys. Like, it was totally random, but it shows that somebody's listening to you, right? Which Plus awesome. the top 20. It's all good. It all helps. <laughs> that's, a, that's a compliment in itself. Absolutely. Anytime you hear through word of mouth somebody promoting your band or whatever, it feels great. When people go to the way to recommend us or say, hey, have you guys heard of this, this great band, Centerfold, you know? It makes what we do yeah. so much, so much more worth it when people truly appreciate the work that we put out there. Definitely. Now, Jordan, did I read right? You're moving? No, it was actually okay. a joke. It was All actually right. April, April, Fool's, sure it was April Fool's Day joke. joke. Yeah. Actually, That's the worst. Funny story. He, he called me up in the morning and he said, "I got to move to England. You know, my dad got transferred for work, and I'm going to go over there and, and, and work with him. You know, I'm sorry, this is going to be my last That's day." Harsh. And I and I flipped because <laughs> prior to because prior to Jordan, we had already lost a bass player who went to Europe. Everyone else kind of knew, and we just let Dave kind of hang with it for a little bit. In my opinion, it was hilarious. He didn't catch on, right? And I told him. It's, it's okay, I actually don't leave for an initial year, but I'll be leaving the same day and I'm like, get your calendar out. So I could hear him getting through his phone. And I was like, just one year exactly to the date. I'm like, did you write it down? He's like, yeah. I'm like, which date is it? He's like, April April 1st next year. Oh. <laughs> awesome. So speaking of band, dead or alive, celebrity, who is the top person that you would love to have in your band? Is it Jessica Alba Cal? Let's go with musicians. In the band. Musicians. Oh, <laughs> man. With I don't know, I think there's so many amazing genres and so many spectacular yeah, players. It'd be so hard Jeff to just... Jeff Leppard's drummer, one. the one-handed drummer. Oh, we're gonna get along get really well. Really well. <laughs> <laughs> Who would we want? That's a good question. I'd have to say Dave Grohl. I like Lemmy. I've always liked Lemmy, you know, he has like the true rock and roll spirit. Like, and if you were to, you know, spy on him when he was doing it, you'd see him in a basement with a glass of Jack Daniels. <laughs> you know, the guy's, the guy's rock and roll to the core. Yeah, if I had to pick a, one to riff with, I'd like say Ian Thornley. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, good choice. Thornley's man. Yeah, he's got some cool, cool riffs. Yeah. And of course there's a bunch of flashy drummers that I can pick from now, but really if I could be on stage with one person, and probably Freddie Mercury. Well, that's yeah. a pretty good choice. Well, yeah. Yeah. Greatest yeah. friend of all time. Socks. What are you wearing today? Black socks. Always black socks. Always black black jeans, socks. black shoes. Always have to have black socks. Why is that? Because if you're ever on stage, and uh, you have white socks, like Jordo does when, when you're wearing I jeans, it kind of looks here. goofy, oh, personally. Oh, really? Did you know that he thought you looked goofy with the white socks? <laughs> what I'd like to point out is they're matching shoes. You know what? Right. Yeah. Matching shoes. Matching I got shoes. high tops, but he's got the low ones. Oh, oh look at those! Oh, those are crazy. Wow. Oh, jeez. They're intense. Look at that! They are. That is look pretty that. sweet. I like it. Maybe I'll get myself a pair of those. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you think you could pull off the heel? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see you put them on. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, we'll go from there. What size feet are you? Uh, 11? <laughs> yeah, they might not fit. Yeah. What color are yours? <laughs> I would be black or white at practice. <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly I'm wearing dark jeans, so I'm going to be wearing white socks. There you go, see? <laughs> Some sort of lipstick or something. Well, there's got to be a story behind that. How do you get lipstick on your socks? Well, it might have been the last pieces of clothing I had on. And... Wow. There's no good story that goes along with lipstick yeah. on your socks. <laughs> I mean, it somehow yeah. accidentally probably got there. Do all of your socks match? One is you, left and right, absolutely. Why? I, I, I don't know. Right. We're not, we're not punk rock. I, yeah, we're not punk rock. Yeah, I guess we're not yeah. punk rock. That's the best way to say it. I like my socks to match, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Get one that's short and one that's long. No. Not fun. You're saying white ones are the only comfy ones? Comfy for just chilling out in, but <laughs> I guess, I don't know. I don't like the, like, the thin socks when I'm practicing. Oh, On stage, I'll wear them. But I, I don't know. Just for jamming out and stuff. No one to impress. The only person who maybe comes down is the dogs. Yeah. And they don't really care too much. Not they really. They don't change yeah. their opinion. Thanks a lot, guys. No worries. Thanks for Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah.